You want a steampunk mod pack in Minecraft? And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get steampunk LPS. This is, as the name implies, a steampunk style Minecraft mod pack. And it's, it's really cool. There's custom structures and things like that in the steampunk style. And it adds in a lot more than that, including new biomes, new strongholds and fortress style stuff, better villages, and new bosses steam mobs which is kind of interesting and so much more including magic a skill system it's actually really in depth and it again is all based upon a steampunk kind of footing if you will so without any more delays go ahead and get steampunk lps and to do that you're going to need curse forge to download the curse forge launcher you want to go here this is the second link in the description down below and this is our in-depth guide on getting curse forge it goes over everything you need to know we're gonna be going over the basics in this video but if you want to like in-depth look at the launcher with like how to change settings and install custom mods and things like that this guide here will help you do that as well as the text guide down below but once you're here go ahead and click on the download curse forge button here to go to curse forge's official download page on this page you want to go ahead and click download standalone and when you do you may need to keep or save the file but it's a hundred percent safe to do that while this is downloading how much from our company simple game hosting you can check out simple game host get the first link in the description down below the breakdown dot xyz slash sgh to start your very own steampunk lps server for you and your friends. That's right, in just a few clicks using the one-click mod pack installer, you can easily add the Steampunk mod pack to the server and then join it with your friends and start playing this mod pack together. On top of that, there's hundreds of other Minecraft mod packs that you can play with your friends in addition to Steampunk. And if you have any issues, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and host your Minecraft server on the Steampunk mod pack or any mod pack you want the simple way. The first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH. Installing CurseForge now that it's down Downloaded is actually super easy. All you've got to do is minimize your browser and find the CurseForge file that you downloaded. Most likely it's going to be in your downloads folder here. As you can see it is for me. And then once you found it, just double click on it. And then it installs just like any other app. As you can see, we have the CurseForge Windows installer here. Click on next. Go ahead and agree to their terms of service, assuming that you do. Click on next again, and now it's going to download and install. It's that quick and easy. Once it's installed, you'll get a desktop icon, and it should go ahead and open up right like this. If it doesn't open up, you can always use that desktop icon to open it. Now, there is a little intro here that can be helpful to go through. Some different stuff about, you know, how it supports mod creators, which is amazing. Love to see that. And some of the other stuff that you can do with CurseForge. And then finally, it'll say get started here. It'll start to get everything ready, but you still need to make sure Minecraft is ready. Luckily, this is done within the CurseForge app as well. As you can see, it says Minecraft here, but it's not installed. Go ahead and click on it, and then make sure standard is checked, and then click continue. And now, it's going to get everything ready for your Minecraft mod packs. You don't have to do anything else from here in order to get Minecraft ready to go with the CurseForge launcher. And once Minecraft is ready, we'll be on the My Mod Packs tab here. Up here at the top, we'll have search for Minecraft projects, and we're going to search for Steampunk LPS. Now, there's a lot of Steampunk stuff. It is actually the first one here, but we can also filter this by Mod Packs, and that'll narrow it down a bit more to be able to find the Steampunk LPS Mod Pack. And this is by Lunar Pixel Studios, which is why it's called LPS yes at the end and uh, yeah this is the mod pack we want so go ahead and click on install on the right hand side and it will begin installing you can go back to the my mod packs tab here and you can watch it install but it is worth noting you may need to add more ram to this mod pack to do that go down to the bottom left here the settings wheel go to minecraft and scroll all the way down then you will have this this is your allocated memory or the ram minecraft has For this mod pack somewhere between six to eight maybe up to ten gigabytes or ten thousand megabytes six thousand to eight thousand megabytes of ram is is needed. I'm going to go ahead and go with 10 because I have the RAM to do it. Never dedicate more than half of the RAM that you have on your computer to Minecraft. So nevertheless, we can now go back here and this is going to finish up. And once it's finished, we can hover over it and there will be a play button that appears. Click on this play button and it will open the Minecraft launcher. Now you'll need to log into the Minecraft launcher and it's 100% safe to do that. This is the default Minecraft launcher that you normally play Minecraft through. You're just launching it via CurseForge rather than, you know, through your normal, basically, installation. Once you're logged in, you will be on the Home tab here. Click on Minecraft Java on the left-hand side, and then just go ahead and click Play. Then click Play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, and now Minecraft will open up with the Steampunk Mod Pack install. Once we're in-game, you can play single-player, but we can also go to multiplayer, and I have set up this simplegamehosting.com server here with the Steampunk Mod Pack. Just took me a few minutes to do that, and once we're in here, we'll be playing this. Your friends could join this server, all of that stuff, and you now know how to play the Steampunk LP. Mod Pack in Minecraft. 
If you have any questions about playing this mod pack, let us know in the comment section down below. But uh, yeah, that's the basics. You now know how to get everything set up and installed. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.